Welcome to this segment of 10 Points video series, Now You Know. My name is Brian Zabitsky. I'm the Service and Repair Manager for 10 Point Crossbow Technologies, Horton Crossbow Innovations, and Wicked Ridge Crossbows. Today I'm going to show you how to mount the Arrow Retention Brush Retrofit Kit onto your 10 Point or Wicked Ridge Crossbow. So the first thing you want to do is to check to make sure that your dovetail or scope mount is compatible for the Arrow Retention Brush. If your dovetail is adjustable and has the Range Master Cam or the fixed position accessory, then it is not compatible with the Arrow Retention Brush. If your dovetail does not have the appropriate number of holes, you must purchase either the 10-point standard dovetail or the extended dovetail. The standard dovetail must have six holes that go through the dovetail, and the extended dovetail must have seven holes to be able to mount the Arrow Retention Brush. Next, you're going to lay out the contents of the Arrow Retention brush retrofit kit package before you start the mounting process. So I'm going to show you how to mount the arrow retention brush. Today we have a 10 point shadow ultralight crossbow so that we'll be able to show you how to mount the spacer that comes in the packaging. Keep in mind though, if you have any other model, then you will not need to use that spacer. You only use that spacer on the shadow ultralight or the lady shadow models. So the first thing you're going to do is remove the scope from the dovetail. In order to do that, you have to loosen the scope rings. Always start out loosening the top two screws before loosening the bottom two. So now that we have our top screws loose, then we'll loosen the bottom. And now that our rings are loose, we should be able to lift it up off of the dovetail. Next, you're going to remove the two screws that mount the dovetail to the top of the trigger box. You want to set these two screws aside and hang on to them because you'll need them later when you remount your dovetail. So then you'll lift the dovetail up off the top of the trigger box. And keep in mind on the 10 point shadow ultralight and lady shadow models, there's an additional shim underneath that, that seats underneath the dovetail that you'll also want to set aside and remount. If you have a different model of crossbow other than the shadow or the lady shadow, then it will not have this shim. So next we're gonna loosen the arrow retention spring screw. Keep in mind that there's a spring directly underneath of it and you do not want to lose that spring when you remove the screw. That spring needs to stay in there. It keeps the dry fire inhibitor mechanism working properly. And when you remount the screw into this area, you'll also want to make sure that you don't over tighten it. Make it just as tight as it was when you were loosening it. Now you're going to remove the rubber wedgie from the bottom of the dovetail because it's no longer needed. And I have a knife and I'll be able to cut the adhesive from the wedgie, which will free it from the dovetail. So now we're ready to mount the brush itself. Uh, since I'm mounting this on a shadow ultralight crossbow, I'm gonna wanna use the spacer that came in the packaging. The spacer has some adhesive on it. You'll wanna peel away that adhesive and then apply this to the arrow retention brush, making certain to line up the holes in the spacer with the holes in the brush. So then you'll take the brush and the dovetail and you want to take the flat side of the brush that always gets mounted towards the front of the dovetail. You'll line that uh, brush up with the two screw holes that are closest to the front of the dovetail. Next you'll take your Phillips screws and screw them into the brush. And you'll want to mount these screws hand tight. So now we're ready to remount the dovetail, and since we're mounting it on the Shadow Ultralight crossbow, 
we want to make sure that we replace the spacer back underneath the dovetail that we initially removed. You will place that spacer over the hole that's located just behind the aero retention spring screw. And then you'll take your dovetail, sit it back on top of the trigger box, making sure that the holes in the dovetail line up with the two holes that are in the trigger box. Then we'll replace our screws that mount the dovetail to the trigger box. And make sure that when you tighten these screws down that you don't over-wrench on it. Basically what you're looking for are for these screws to be hand tight. And the last step in this process is to remount the scope on the dovetail. And if you recall where the scope rings were mounted earlier on the dovetail, you should definitely try to remount those in the same location. Keep in mind when you remount the scope to the dovetail, you're gonna wanna make certain that you tighten the bottom scope ring screws and then finish up by tightening the top screws. Now we're finished with the process and we have our aero retention brush mounted on the crossbow. Please visit our website for more information or call our customer service department with questions. Thanks for watching today. Now you know.